Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is October 23rd, 2018, the home of the two-minute price prediction as well to give you all the news according to the charts. Now, one of the things I just want to clarify to each and every one of you is that once we give you these articles, it does not mean that we literally take what is being said on these articles as fact, okay? I've been seeing a lot of the comments on these videos that actually think we follow these articles. It's quite the contrary we're the opposite we don't believe the articles we don't believe the news we don't believe the videos that we see on youtube the only thing that we believe on this particular organization is the price chart that's it and what we're giving you all on this particular channel is the ability to see if the articles if the videos that we're reading i'm sorry if the articles that we're reading or the videos that we're watching if they are in fact telling us what the price charts are saying that's the only thing we do not follow articles we don't believe the news or anything what we do we're giving you all the news according to the charts okay so once we give you articles on this particular channel we make sure that you all see the price chart as well to make sure that what this article is mentioning or the video is saying actually looks the same as the price charts okay so don't think twice that we're actually believing in the information that we're seeing on this channel okay so i just want to get that out the way i see a lot of people actually like i'm not that oblivious to following articles and videos i will not be on this particular channel if i did not understand how to trade okay so if this is your first time coming to this particular channel and you do like the particular content that we are giving on the youtube platform then go ahead and subscribe to this channel hit that bell notification as well because once we upload videos and definitely you all will be the first to know uh, if you like the content as well like it hit the thumbs up button and as well as share it because we definitely like to people to see how easy it is to actually understand language analysis because so many other people are hitting you with a uh, very complicated moving averages stochastics rsis macd's triangles circles octagons hexagons all these particular patterns and shapes and it just literally confuses you and the only thing that you really want to know is what direction is this particular financial instrument going to go and that's what we're doing here in this particular organization okay so now uh, the thing that we're going to look at today is an article from investor place i will have this link in the video for you all to continue to read if you're interested uh, it was written by William Roth uh, it was uploaded today October 23rd and the title reads banks versus big tech for to buy versus for to sell now we're not going to go through uh, the for to sell we're just going to go through the ones that they say are poised for movement to the upside okay and those are the tech stocks and if you all can probably see, uh, it's Amazon, Apple, Adobe, and Intel. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and you can already tell by the particular chart that this individual is using. He has multiple indicators on his chart. He has moving averages at the 250 day moving averages. And he even looked like he has Bollinger Bands on this particular chart. All just to figure out whether or not Amazon is a buy or not. Okay. So this is the section of tech stocks to buy. He has Amazon first, and he's literally looking for this stock to move to the upside. You can look here at Apple. Again, he has moving averages, Bollinger Bands, all listed on this one chart. And you still have no idea of what direction this particular stock is going to go. He said that Apple is a buy as well. So we'll look at that stock. And then we have Adobe. You can see that Adobe has been in a severe downturn recently. Uh, hopefully can hold support relatively soon to see increase to the upside. But he also thinks Adobe is a buy. Um, you guys can literally go ahead and read through this article. It has 200 day moving averages, revenue, fiscal 2019 revenue to be up 20 percent. All these things are just hypotheticals that have not come to pass, which is literally why we look at the charts. And the last one. You can see he has Intel. OK, so uh, again, if you guys are interested in actually reading this article, uh, go ahead and do it. The link will be in the description of this video. But instead, 
we like to save our time give you all a quick look at these price charts to see exactly what's going to occur and determine whether or not it has the ability to continue to move to the upside so now the first one on the list is going to be Amazon okay so we're going to look at Amazon on the weekly chart first and you can tell here that Amazon has been seeing a slight decrease in price uh, one of the things I do like is the fact that Amazon is holding around sixty one thousand six hundred seventy five dollars as support that is very crucial in this particular market for Amazon As a matter of fact you can see here that we did receive a lot of volume on this particular week and even on the last week we have not moved to the downside we're still holding seventeen hundred dollars as support in Amazon okay so we are definitely seeing some indications that we may get some consolidation uh, slight indications to the upside in Amazon but first of all we need to determine how high it can possibly move and literally what we have seen in the market today shows you that 1720 uh, definitely has been held as support in the background and we moved all the way back up to around 1840 now in the near term uh, the market for Amazon is still giving us some strength I don't think it's as strong as um, Amazon coming all the way up back up here to highs around two thousand and forty dollars but I can definitely see it moving to the upside especially in the very near term uh, the market is trying to hold out strength uh, might come around that eighteen hundred dollar price area okay uh, the three hour chart continues to show that fact uh, eighteen hundred dollars I would be looking for Amazon to come and try to touch might even come up to eighteen twenty five even eighteen fifty but not too high above that particular price okay I am seeing more or less consolidation in Amazon and since we're trading towards the support area then definitely I'm leaning for Amazon to move to the upside so I will say that Amazon would be a buy according to this chart now let's take a look at Apple okay uh, that article also read that Apple is a buy and currently this is the weekly chart let's go ahead and see what the monthly chart look like real quick and the monthly chart goes ahead and show you that we are seeing some slight sellers coming into this particular space uh, albeit it is not overly strong as of yet but we still have a couple more days before the month of October ends uh, the weekly chart shows you that we literally have been within the consolidation we came and held that $212 price area in Apple We're starting off the week quite well so far uh, we did move to the downside yesterday and currently we're closing towards the high of the bar so uh, strength currently is in the market for Apple as well uh, given this daily price chart we did close towards the high of the bar uh, I am looking for Apple to move to the upside to uh, $224 maybe $228 would be the area that I'm looking for Apple to continue to move but given the market that we've seen today in the space definitely shows you that indication to the upside is still in play for Apple so the article read that Apple was a buy the price chart as well as giving us it is a buy so I am looking for Apple to move to the upside but understand that I'm not necessarily confident that it's going to break out to all-time highs possibly 224 to 228 in or around that particular price so now let's go ahead and take a look at Adobe. This article also mentioned that Adobe is a buy. You guys can see how strong of a movement to the upside this particular stock has been in on a monthly basis. And right now we're definitely getting some profit taking going on for the month of October in Adobe. Uh, the weekly chart shows you kind of resembles Amazon's price chart. We came and held $240 for the last two weeks. And even for this current week that we're in, we're holding support right now. I will tell you that if we conclude this weekly bar that's currently forming above the close from the last one then strength is still coming into the market for Adobe okay uh, the market is getting some stockpile today so again that's why I'm not too confident in Adobe moving severely to the upside but there's still some strength at best to see some consolidation okay so um, 245 240 will be that support area in Adobe and we already came and hit the resistance at 255 that's why we're getting some stop how today in the market for Adobe so we're not necessarily overly strong in Adobe if we can break 255 
then definitely uh, this particular stock can continue to move higher in price. But we're not there yet. OK, so at least uh, spec more or less consolidation. Uh, 248, 244 definitely needs to be maintained as support in order for us to try to break $255 in Adobe. OK, uh, the three hour chart is definitely showing you some stop power coming to the market. So as we start trading tomorrow, we can't actually move to the downside. That's why we need to hold those support areas that I just mentioned in Adobe. But overall, uh, at best, I'm looking for consolidation in Adobe. As long as we stay above $240, then the strength is still there in Adobe. OK, so I'm not necessarily too sure about Adobe being a buy right now, even though the article tells you that it should be bought today. So and now the last one that we're going to look at is Intel. OK, this is the last technology stock that the article mentions. And the monthly chart definitely shows you that it is very weak. OK, if we conclude the month of October with the close towards low the bar, then definitely I'm looking for Intel to at least come down to thirty seven dollars to try to hold support. And that's the ways way long term objective. Uh, as of now, we're still getting some indications of weakness in the market for Intel. Forty four dollars is the last hope for this particular stock in order for us to see some bounce to the upside. OK, uh, we did see some light volume in the market for Intel looking at on the weekly chart. So we still have what three more days left before this weekly bar completes. So what we have to go by is definitely what we have already completed. And definitely I don't see a lot of strength in the market for Intel. The only thing is that forty four dollars has to be held at support or even forty two taking a look at it on the daily price chart you can still see here that forty four dollars is being maintained as support as of now but i don't see a lot of indications of strength coming in the market for intel okay so literally i'm still seeing indication that the market wants to continue to move lower just keep your eyes on at forty four dollars because if we break into definitely forty two dollars would be the next area maybe even around forty one dollars and fifty cents would be the next area of support for Intel. So just like with Adobe, I don't necessarily see uh, Intel being a buy right now as that article reads. The chart is giving us a different depiction as to the overall strength of these stocks. OK, so out of the four stocks that this article read, definitely Amazon, Apple, I will see have a higher likelihood of moving to the upside. But Adobe and Intel uh, kind of put the brakes on those two. I definitely could see Adobe consolidating. It has a probability of moving higher, but again, I'm not too confident that it's going to move substantially higher in price. And definitely, I'm real lenient. I don't really believe Intel is going to break out to the upside. Okay, it might come up to 46, but other than that, I don't. I'm not too confident in the strength in this particular stock. So, what do you all think? Do you think these four technology stocks are a buy as the article reads out of the four? Which one do you think is the best stock to invest in right now? We just like to know your opinion. So just give us a comment in the comment section of this video. Uh, let us know your. If you had opportunity to invest in one of these four technology stocks, which one would it be? So again, make sure you all subscribe to this channel. We will give you more content of this particular nature because it is quite simple to grab profits out of the markets as well as maintain your profits because you're able to see what is likely to occur before it actually happens. Uh, make sure you all maintain your profitability. Go ahead and like share this video and make sure you all maintain your profitability. I will see you all later.